Hey, this is Kiran Agrar from the Sparking Entrepreneur Show and today we have Robert Santesh with us. Robert's mission in life is to coach ambitious, success-oriented people and show them how to take their inner conscious to a new level regarding their circumstances, their relationship and financial success and so that they can uh, does not lack in any of them thereof. Healing our complex traumas and our life sub sabotaging patterns at the deepest level will allow us to peace, harmony, success and a more fulfilling life. So Robert has a lot to offer today to our audience. So to begin with, let's hear it from Robert. Robert, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for the invite. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, let's begin with your journey. Tell us about yourself. My name is Robert Santesh and I'm a uh, transformational coach. I was raised and born in Hungary and since the age of 21, since 1989, I've lived in the US and I have gone through traditional corporate jobs. Mm -hmm. Then I got a degree in uh, hypnotherapy and then I did a lot of self-development and today I help people transition from a job a situation to develop their own small business and help them with their mindset. Also help people release the necessary traumas that are important in order for them to be successful. Got it. So did you start off as a coach, as a part of your career, or when did you choose coaching? You know, when I was in the corporate world, I was a an electrical engineer. So I have a double E from Chicago. And I was doing a lot of teaching. So I was doing a lot of presentations. So in an indirect way, I have been coaching. I've done a lot of uh, technical presentations for engineers and managers. But at the time, I didn't consider that as coaching. And then in 2010, I had a pretty substantial health issue. I had a stroke. And that's where my, my entire life fell apart. And that's when I was exposed to the uh, the world of the unconscious mind. And it wet my appetite. It, it really got me interested because, you know, a couple of things came up in me. One is I was looking for answers all my life. And I went to therapy for 30 years. And not, not one person could help me. And even one session, like one meeting in hypnotherapy totally changed my life. And my life began to rebuild so apparently that was my path and i was supposed to get exposed to this and i got so excited that i didn't only do the inner work i started to share it with other people and started to systemize it because i'm an engineer i'm very logical you know if i do this it will cause that if i do that other thing it will cause something else and i was fascinated because our world our business success, our everything, our health and the relationship quality is a function of our mind. I did not know that. I had my momentum. I was teaching. I was making really good money as an engineer. So that was enough for me then. And once this new world got exposed to me, I wanted to deep dive into it. So that's what made me become a coach is my own interest my own interest in my own healing. And then I wanted to start sharing the knowledge so that other people can see the magic in this. Got it. Got it. So what hypnotherapy, right? I have heard about it. Uh, listeners, some of our listeners have heard about it. Tell us what a hypnotherapy session looks like. I don't only do hypnosis. I do a lot of other modalities. Hypnotherapy is a type of method where we talk to the unconscious part of our mind, the mind that we don't think of daily, and yet it drives us. And the unconscious part of our mind is our memories, our childhood memories, our conflicts, the words that our parents told us. Everything is recorded. And when we want to do something today, say, somebody wants to start a business, which your audience, probably many of them do, our mind, what it does first is searches back and forth in our past 
to see if it's a safe choice, if it's a safe option. Now, if we had any kind of trauma in the past, the mind works like at the speed of light and says, uh oh, problem. When you were four, you wanted to say something and they laughed at you, they ridiculed you. It's not safe. And then our business desire gets shut down in the present moment. So that's why it's extremely important to see and understand the unconscious logic so that it gives us permission to become who we want to become. Hypnotherapy helps remember these suppressed memories. It reveals a lot of our inner conflicts because once we have a conflict, we are fighting with our own inner self, if that makes sense. I want to have my business, but every time you say but, there's some other past structure that goes against it. So we have to release this. We have to let it go. We have to heal it so that we can be successful here in the present moment. And everybody has done meditation. I'm sure you have to. When you kind of slow down your thought, when you just kind of daydream or gaze at the sky, it is the same state where you just feel very relaxed. Then you have access to a lot of our suppressed memories. And then when you hear them, we don't even know they exist. We don't know that these things exist until you know, we want to do something different. The moment we want to change something in our life, then something will come up, an emotion or package, and go, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be happy. <laughs> I'm getting married. Why do I feel so nervous? I'm supposed to be excited because I am starting my new business. Why do I fail? And we fail because of our deposits in the mind, in the unconscious mind, or not permitting our success until we examine and heal this part of the mind. Got it. And uh, are there are there any how tos to to get through this to uh, to instead of the suppressed thought that are there and uh, which are causing us harm in in today? Uh, like how to get? I don't know. Can you get rid of them or what? Yes, there are techniques. There are subconscious and unconscious techniques to first find them because we have to get uh, become aware of them. We have to find them and go, okay, this directly goes against my dream. There are several techniques that we have to apply if we want to release it. And all of a sudden we feel like a different person. Because, mm. you know, when you look at most people today, a lot of emotions are coming to the surface. Many of them... <laughs> have uh, anxiety, there's a lot of strange, almost inexpressible fears. What we want, what we say we want is a good thing, but we have reached a point in our evolution where this will not be able to be, will not be able to happen without healing our past. So there are many different techniques, but the technique itself is not enough. You have to know mm. the logic of the mind because the mind controls the universe. Mm. And the new human, new humanity is awakening to this, you know, awareness or consciousness where everything's directed by our mind. It's never been a secret. All of the philosophers, all of the very wealthy people have always said it, except one thing was missing, the how. How do I do that? And mm. I teach the how. Got it. Got it. So can you please give us an example of a success story that you consider was your favorite? Yeah. I have many. I'm not your average coach that people come to me and they tell me their problems and we only talk and do nothing, really. I'm a transformational coach, which means the moment someone starts telling me what's going on in their life, I know how they have created that and I know how to get out of it. I know the associated traumas that have caused it. I know the associated subconscious conflicts. And I explain it to them. I teach my clients how to manifest and create a better life. Lots of success stories. 
Most of my clients came to me because they were very, very traumatized. I was very traumatized. We all are very traumatized, but we don't know it. You know, when we were hurt emotionally or physically, and some people sexually. A lot of my success stories come from people who were in the corporate world. They had a job. And transitioning from a job to have becoming a business owner, becoming an entrepreneur, is a gigantic leap. Gigantic. It takes a lot of inner work, a lot of mindset work. So I help people come or bridge this gap. Lots of success stories. I remember people who were in corporate jobs, in accounting, for example. Today, they own their accounting firm. Huge. Very different to go from employee to employer. And it would have never been possible with the old mindset, with the traumas and the conflicts, because these are the weights that we carry. I have had many people overcome very severe physical and sexual trauma. We all carry these deposits, very, very heavy stuff. But if we don't look at them, they will actually take money out of our pocket. A lot of the people who struggle financially struggle because they have unresolved traumas. So once we heal this, all of a sudden their money attitude improves. Money is an energy, is a relationship with the energy of money. And what we don't understand, we did not understand up until, up until now is that past traumas are very dominant and they literally rob us from a good life and from abundance. So I have hundreds and hundreds of success stories and I have been doing coaching, international coaching around the world for many, many, many years. Any, any one name in particular, if not name, keep it anonymous. What was the transformation if you, if you were to tell us? The transformation is extremely spectacular. It's very easy to see because when somebody is struggling to be successful in their business and all of a sudden it takes off, it's a very measurable and successful outcome. Now, a lot of other people cannot just be here right away. They need to learn and apply a lot of steps. We are magnificent machine, man, not machines, but manifesting creatures, the humans. But we also have programs from the past that we have to release. The program mm -hmm. goes against our heart. Our mm -hmm. heart wants to do good things. We want to share who we are. But the old programs in the mind go against it. I have business partners that have become so successful that went from student to a very successful marketer. Now he has his six, even probably even seven figure marketing company. I trained other coaches who were struggling to get clients. Now they are not only getting a lot of clients, but also able to help the clients. My training is very advanced. It's not your average coaching. As I mentioned, I focus on entrepreneurship and I focus on business success. And I also focus on something that is called ascension, which is as we are going to the new earth, it's a very important energy to address because people feel a lot of tension and they don't know why. I'll tell you something. When, if you think about it, it's not, the problem isn't that we have pain because we do. If you don't sleep for a couple of days, it's not good. It's not, it's, that's not the problem. The problem is, Kiran, is that we don't know what is the right path to take. We don't know what the right strategy is. We made mistakes in the past. We all have, we had to, it's part of the path. But our mind holds these mistakes against us. So what we do as we proceed forward, in today, the mind also considers our failures and our resignations. So we have to heal these energies. And the success story comes from being able to really go in here, heal it, and then emerge on this side. I have hundreds and hundreds of stories. You can go to my website and just see just a few of them, just a handful of them. But... Pretty much anyone who comes to me and has 
discipline, and I'll tell you as we talk more why it is successful, what makes coaching successful and what makes people successful. Please elaborate on the same topic, the one that you just mentioned. So discipline and what makes coaching successful and what makes a coach E successful. Okay. These are two different questions. I'll be brief. And if you want more details, I'll expand on those. What makes coaching successful, Kiran, is that I do not compete with other coaches. I am different mm -hmm. and I own it. And this is great advice for all coaches and all business owners. Don't compete. That's an old energy. Competition takes our focus away from the goal and focuses on how somebody else could harm us. It's a wrong okay. mindset. We need to unpack our traumas and then really start focusing on who we are. What is our gift? What is our talent? What is it that we are really good at? Because here's a secret. No one else in the world is exactly like you. No one else can do exactly what you do. The problem is that we've been so averaged out, so reduced through the hurts and the traumas that we don't know who we are. You know, we, we compare ourselves and that's, that's fine in the beginning, but if we don't grow above our competition, we destroy ourselves. So we have to find ourselves and find our unique talents. So that's what makes a good coach is that I own who I am. My transformation is my message. Your audience's business is them, is their message. I come from here, I am creating this, and I'm giving it to the world. So that would be, you know, their um, message. So uh, successful coaching is a function of knowing the inner world, the unconscious world, which I'm the master of. I teach that. And then for your clients, for the business, successful business is when you really do it with joy. It is in alignment with your heart. It's not a drag. You don't wake up in the morning or, oh God, not again. If you want to have your own business, you got to love it. It's like a baby. If it becomes bothersome, if it becomes like, gives you a feeling of drag, something needs to change about the approach. A lot of businesses, when they start, they start excited, which is great. The problem is that the excitement leaves in about three days. And there's like strategic work that has to be put in, some of it on the physical level, some on the mindset level. We cannot have corporate attitudes and become successful business owners. Entrepreneurial mindset is required. Okay. So I hope I answered your question. Got it. Got it. We, we certainly understood what you meant to say, Robert. But tell us about your strategies. Like, are there any methods that you use, strategies that you use, tips that you have? Please elaborate on that. When I work with clients, one of the first those strategies that I do is I do not serve everyone. It's very important. The broader our message is, the less successful we'll become. It's called niching down. This is not new. I have been serving the broad audiences and it wasn't successful because people could not relate. Now I focus on trauma release, entrepreneurship and ascension. And when people are at that level and able to hear it, then the lights go on and go ding, 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 this guy I need to talk to. Mm -hmm. The strategy is such that I hear their story out. They tell me, Robert, I want this. I tried a few things and it seems like there's an invisible wall. I really want it, but I'm also frustrated. I said, okay, that's cool. Because if we didn't have challenges, we would not be aware of what, what else is in the mind. 
So then I start asking my questions. Tell me a little bit about your past, just a little bit. A little bit about mom, a little, little bit about father, because those represent a relationship with the feminine and the masculine. The feminine gives us the emotional intelligence. The masculine gives us the action. And when people have mommy issues, then the emotional world is wounded and they will self-sabotage if it's not healed. If the masculine side is wounded, then our action, the steps, the strategic steps that we want to take won't be taken because we have fears. And when we don't take the steps, what happens in us is that we reduce our self-esteem. When we reduce our self-esteem, we will not take the steps. So it's like a self-destructive spiraling down. And this is what I help people understand is like, look, where you are is fine. What you want is fine. If you can't make it come true, here is why. Let's work on this why. Let's heal this part. And then you can take off like a rocket. Got it. And any steps, any methods like uh, NLP is one thing other than that? Oh, NLP is a very broad thing. Most people who have heard of NLP misunderstand it. NLP is really a group of techniques, a group of methodologies that help us produce repeatable results. I know hundreds of techniques and I know millions of details. And I teach these in my training courses because it's so intricate. I call this quite often neurosurgery because it is so intricate. And that's why a lot of people who are on the path of becoming an entrepreneur cannot afford to not have a good mentor, cannot afford to not have a good coach, because this is rocket science. I'm serious. This is so detailed, and there's so many subtleties in it. It's just like when you do something really well, you do it. You shake it out of your, you know, your little finger, and if you had to teach it, you realize, oh my gosh, there are hundreds of things to it. Coaching, I have tens of thousands of things to it. That's what I focus on. Just like, like in my engineering, I work for billion dollar companies. And it's very intricate. I cannot teach it. It took me years to learn. And when I was mentoring young engineers, it took me years to train them. So this is very similar. Except as the new world is coming, becoming an entrepreneur also comes with a lot of excitement because we are putting a part of our heart into the business. And that is what makes us unique. Sure, it does. Sure, it does, Robert. Uh, tell us about the best ways of reaching out to you uh, because people now are getting curious. They want to reach out, how to get to connect to you. I have a website. It's called robertsentesh.com. Okay, so that's an American website. I'm also present in Hungary. I, I'm sure we can post the uh, links underneath the video. I'll, I'll make it uh, available. And in Hungarian, my name is reverse. So our, our last name isn't the last name. It's sentesrobert.hu. H-U stands for Hungary. So robertsentesh.com or sentesrobert.hu. And I do have online courses in Hungarian, but the majority of my teachings are in English. And the robertcenters.com forward slash programs is where I talk about the programs, the breakthrough programs, the trauma healing programs that will lead to successful business, will lead to a happy life, and will lead to a very productive and fulfilling life. Got it. Got it. So do reach out, guys robertcentage.com and centagerobert.hu. So final question for the day, Robert. Give us some action steps for any entrepreneur listening to this conversation. What are some action steps you would suggest they take in order to either succeed in life or to succeed in business? All right. Yeah, I'm glad you asked that because I wish somebody had told me this you know, years ago. When we transition from a familiar, a corporate type world, a job gives us some level of security. Deeper in the mind, it also gives us comfort. 
we have the comfort of knowing that, okay, even if I don't feel well today, I'm going to get a paycheck on Friday, something like that. When we transition to entrepreneurship, we lose the safety, the security, and the comfort. We have to train the mind to not seek comfort. In other words, we have to learn to become comfortable being uncomfortable. That's why you have to work on the mind to not go, oh my gosh, I'm scared. It's okay to be scared, but we got to release it because if we retreat, then we will destroy ourselves. It's called self-sabotage. The way transformation works, and this could be transformation at the physical level, is that we, we try something. Some things work and some things don't, okay? Just like anything in life. Then we go back to the drawing board and go, okay, why isn't this working? This is where I help. So seek not comfort, but seek passion. Mm -hmm. People, when they hear it, they really, I suggest they think about this. They feel deeply into it because... <clears throat> We unconsciously seek comfort. That's why we put money aside so for retirement, we'll have a comfortable life, okay? That's not working in the new world. It's not going to work. Don't seek comfort. Seek freedom. Seek passion and seek heart in every step you take and every thought you have. And then success is guaranteed. Wow. So don't seek comfort. Seek freedom. And yeah. put your heart out there because that's the way in this new world. Do reach out to Robert if you resonated with him. Robert is a wonderful personality to communicate with your thoughts and ideas with. Uh, so thank you so much, Robert, for such a great conversation. It was a pleasure to meet you today and an honor to be able to host you. Thank you. Likewise, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you again. With that said, I am your host, Kiran Nagar, signing off for the day. You guys take care. Bye, guys.